All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is gonna be another quick one, and um, you know, I was just, you know, you know, we watch different videos, seeing what's going on out there in the world, and um. You know, I'm pretty sure brothers know this little Nick Cannon, Eminem type going back and forth shit. You know, it's really meaningless. But, you know, I was watching um the report, the rumor report that Charlemagne and, and uh, DJ Envy from The Breakfast Club, I guess they do from time to time. And um, I'm listening to them, you know, their narration of, uh, you know, what they feel. Because this is all, you know, these radio hosts is just... It's, you know, depending on how they feel, they spread their bullshit, you know, they try to push their ideology upon everyone, you know, that plays, you know, that everyone that listens and hears their radio station, you know, and that's how they control, you know, and uh, control people's minds as well, you know, and that's why you jakes, you know, two thirds, this is why they so simple and stupid today, because you got guys like Charlemagne. DJ Envy, and it's a whole lot of it's a whole lot of the others that spread forth they they uh wicked ideology, you know they personal opinion, and they think everybody's supposed to agree because they have they have a say so when it comes to judging certain matters, you know they should just be playing music and stick to the music, you know instead of start talking well you know instead of talking about world issues, you know this is a radio show to listen to what music. But Esau used it as a little uh, media, you know, to control you, you Jakes, man. He know that you Jakes love music, man. But anyway, neither here nor there. I'm going to play a little bit, you know, as this dude Charlemagne is clearly, you know, uh, all for homosexuality. But he's claiming that he's a straight man. Now, listen to what this guy says, man. Emoji. Well, by the way, who cares if, if, if let's just say hypothetically that was true and Shofa was doing that to him, he was doing that to Shofa. Who cares? Why is that? A, gay gay, gay got to stop being an insult to y'all. I don't know if he said gay, So what? He just, he just said it didn't have it. Didn't have you hear what he said? This guy is trying to. Oh my man, yo. He said gay has to stop being an insult to y'all. Is this nigga not with the uh, Esau's agenda, man? You know, these Edomites, here they are, they're looking to try to attack us Hebrews, you know, because we're speaking the Bible, but really, it's all because they hate the truth, you know? All of you two-thirds, okay, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, you know, you know, those that participate, you know, within this Greek culture, you know, you know, you all gonna be destroyed, man, you know, because that's not the way that the most high intended for his people, his chosen people, you know, to uh, choose that type of man of life. Now, this guy just said, you know, we have to stop making uh, gay an insult. Are you serious? Are you serious, man? And this and, that, and it's the new thing. You know, he wants to speak, you know, politically correct. He wants to speak in the fans favorite, you know, being the, the fans favorite. Say what most people well. Because they say that the gay people run the world You know, it's more of them than it is us So he wants to speak on their behalf To make it seem as though Being a homosexual is normal Esau been pushing this You know, for, for, for a minute now And now he got certain Israelites Who has a platform Has a voice And who people actually listen to He got them to push off this This, uh, this, this, this uh, <laughs> Abominable Filthy type Um ideology man this this they want you to accept homosexuality and this is why in 2020 man 2020 gonna be something else man you know they they pushing um uh what you call it uh homosexual history upon the students in school you know as if you know these kids need to learn about being a homosexual they 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 they're forcing homosexuality as a normal behavior and it's not it's always going to be disgusting. It's always going to be offensive. All right. And it's always going to be wrong. You know. So. Yo man.
Alright, let me um back out of here. And let me get a quick scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 5. And I start at verse 18. 18. It says, Woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a, a chart, a chart rope. Alright? Now woe in the scriptures means death and destruction. You know, this is why this is why everyone hate the Bible because of this damn Edomite, man. You know? You know, his ways, the wickedness have been put on high, man. And now Jake seem, you know, Jake, they don't have no fear in the Lord. They don't have no fear in the word of the Lord. Because Esau done basically took that took that spirit away from you, man. You know, by, by letting you receive reward for uh being wicked, man. That's how you know this is Satan's kingdom. And boy, man, you wait till your how Barshim Yahweh judge this place. This place is going to be, oh, I understand the graphics and, and the magnitude and level of the way that the Lord is going to destroy this place. And the other nations that may see, that will see this place fall, they're going to, they, hey, they, they're going to they're gonna mourn, man. They're going to mourn. You're going to mourn, man. Even, even Esau enemies, these other nations, okay, that hate, that hate this place, Babylon the Great. They're gonna mourn when they see the, the uh, fashion of how this place goes out, man. That's how bad the Lord, you know, is gonna do this place so dirty, man. You know, I, I, I see it. I, I can see it, man. I can see it. And, and it's greatly well deserved because the Heavenly Father is a righteous power. All right. Right now, you're living in, you know, the uh, wicked power uh, society, man. Okay. Now it says, woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity. All right. And, and, and that's what he's doing. All right. He's trying to draw iniquity with a cord. He's hoping that somebody else go, yeah, that's right. I'm so tired of people being offended. You know, first off, a man laying down with another man should make you offended, man. Because it ain't supposed to be that way. That's why, hey, I don't, you know, you should know that next year, hey, you know, rumor is <laughs> from from sources that look, they're officially gonna make pedophilia a normal man. They're gonna officially make pedophilia, all right, a norm. All behind because they make they're striving to make norm uh, homosexuality. So now you're gonna it's gonna be official soon for grown men, grown women, to have a relations. With a four, five, six-year-old child, man. All right. So, so Jake sitting there, turn their eyebrow up, and you know, turn they, they uh, you know, get that ugly face. You know, when they see such a thing. Well, guess what? It's all your fault, man. Because you, because when Obama passed laws for homosexuality, he basically opened the gates of hell, man. You know, he opened up the gates for all unlawful sex, man. Okay. And just because the government make it um, legal does not make it right. The government is not God, man. If that's the case, instead of going to church praying to Jesus Christ, won't you go to the city hall or the White House and praise the government, man? Because that's what you're doing. And ultimately, that's what you're going to do anyway. Because when they force you to have that chip, which is the RFID microchip, oh, you well, you putting Esau as your God. Okay? The scriptures say how Esau wants to sit in the seat of the Most High. He wants to be the most high, man. That's why, like I said, I'm going to say it again. I can't wait. Lord willing, I pray Yahweh Bashem Yashah be of his elect and be protected. But I can't wait. And I hope I'll be able to see the magnitude, the level of destruction that's going to come upon this place called Babylon the Greek, man. If, if You know, if these people don't make you mad, man, you know, sometimes you keep your cool. You understand the wickedness. But sometimes, too, it ticks you off, man. It's like, whoa, man, I can't wait for the Lord. And you got these devils trying to demonize us, coming against us as we doing something wrong. Here it is. We're teaching the scriptures and trying to basically, let me say, I just said, you know, trying to save uh, uh, those that could be saved. You know, really, we can't save anyone. But by going out, teaching his word, man, we're hoping that the Lord wake up the, the, the small remnant of our people, which is called the elect. To uh to salvation and to the Lord, man, so that the Lord can seal them. Well, that's what we out there for. But man, I tell you, yo, <laughs> I tell you, they they calling us wick, they calling us bad when we for the good. 
All right, <laughs> let, let me continue to read, man. It says, uh, woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a, a chart rope that say, let him make speed and haste in his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. Mm. All right. Now it says verse 20. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know, these devils are trying to demonize us into the public's eye. And, and you know, watching the Elder Apostles Gabar uh, lesson really gave, really was very, very edifying to know, you know, because he did a show based off the, what was it? He said the 1984 movie. I think it was a book, said it was fictional, but it, it's, it's, it has, um, you know, real, uh, 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 Real, uh, let's say, uh, real uh, an agenda, which Esau, you know, uh, actually keeps, man. You know, and and we know already, man, that Esau he played these movies, and you know, these movies supposed to be fake, but really he's pushing out his agenda, you know, and things that he want, he's showing you. But anyway, you know, with all this demonization trying to start against us, which the scripture said will, you know, all right. But he's looking for a reaction. You know, he wants, he see, when he did what he did, you know, he wanted to, um, he wanted the people, he wants, see, Esau, what he wants, he wants the people minds to go, yeah, that's right, we hate them Hebrews, get them off the street, that's right, you know, he wants that type of reaction, you know, there's a video uh, of, you know, these uh, Jewish Edomites, all right, that came together in New York, and they came together in mourning over the guy that, that died in Jersey City. I guess the Jewish Edomites that got killed in the incident or whatever. All right. The, the, the real fake incident. Well, let's say the real stage incident, man. You know, Esau has no problem sacrificing his own, man. And, um, and, uh, you know, and that right there, you know, they, you know, they hoping that, they, you know, those Jewish Edomites have something to say about the Hebrews, you know, as if we're terrorizing the street and doing such a thing, you know, and it's not a coincidence. Like brothers been telling you in the video, they got the movie coming out. I believe it's called St. Paul now, which was called Asher. Should have came out years ago, you know, but it seems like they keep pushing it back because they're looking for a right time to introduce that movie to the world so they could try to narrate to the world of what Hebrew Israelites are. And they calling us the black Hebrew Israelites. Meanwhile, the streets know who the, the Hebrew Israelites are. That's what that's what your problem is, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the brothers, they start with the apostles and their elders been teaching for years. Most of these black and Latinos people in the streets, hey, what they say, um, you know, the, uh, uh, damn, I forgot how that saying go. But everybody already knows, you know, Jake may hate us and, and don't um, care to hear what we got to say, you know. But guess what? When it comes to, uh, you know, demonizing us, hey, the Lord be having Jake be uh, telling the truth, man. You know, this, this, there was a, with, you know, going off subjects, so like, yeah, I wanted to make this quick, but, uh, there's also a video and, uh, somebody was telling me and also showing me, I didn't get a chance to really examine it, but the Jersey city thing, man, the Jersey city incident, you know, they said that basically this woman, she put a full page note and she did a video saying that it was not the Hebrews that had anything to do with that. She said it's been an ongoing beef between the Jews, the, the Edomite, the Jewish Edomites that came into Jersey City taking over their shit with black people. So it was just a it was just black people tired of uh, these Jewish Edomites. I had nothing to do with Hebrew, you know, <laughs> but these devils are sitting there narrating it across the world as if the Hebrew Israelites did something like that, man. You see, meanwhile, people in Jersey City know it ain't got nothing to do with no damn Hebrews, man, you know. But anyway, that's why it's going to take the Lord. The Lord, when the Lord demonized brothers on that magnitude that Esau went, it's going to go down. Because the scriptures say that we will be persecuted, man. And guess what? We're going to be found innocent. Because all we're doing is reading the scriptures. And I'm talking about those who uh, didn't take no person, take no tides, no bond with Esau, man. Anyway, let's get back to the scripture. Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Exactly. You know, what we doing, they say that is evil. You know, they don't want us. They, hey, this world is so feminine that 
they are offended by work they, they are uh emotional emotional about words man they don't even want to hear you say anything against homosexuality because they want homosexuality to be a normal behavior homosexuality is a mental illness man okay and there's many type of ways you can have mental illness man you know a woman wearing blonde hair that's a mental illness you walking down the street with purple hair you have a you have a mental problem man a woman jumping from man to man you have a mental problem and a spiritual problem you know straight wickedness is uh is is uh straight wickedness this guy just ran a red light right in front of the cop and he ain't do shit <laughs> but um oh shit i don't do that. anyway anyway um yeah um you know it's a you know a, a man because they got all types of mental illness going on they try to say jake got a mental illness you look at these rappers man this guy juice world that died and predicted his death man this dude was pushing nothing but witchcraft he was a warlock there's a video out where he did a ritual with uh there was a dude from chicago y'all brothers know um mike bibby uh mike bibby damn bibby the dude rapper the cousin the one wife that with his woman left him for Javante uh, Davis. Uh, I forgot his name. You know, he was there and he was filming. Well, he wasn't filming, but somebody was filming him. And he was saying in the video, like, yo, Juice World just, just sold his soul. And, they, and you look at, you know, when they showed you, they showed you a big pentagram in the middle of a sand with fire and all that. Like, like, motherfuckers are devil worshippers, man. You know, so, hey, he was sacrificed, man. All right. But, um, guys like him guys like him making music the way he is he was a he was a warlock man you know but anyway i'm losing my train of thought so lock you let me read the scripture again woe unto them that call evil good and good evil it says that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter man so death and destruction man unto those that call evil good man because homosexuality is no good man I can't believe this guy said that shit. Guys got to stop being offended uh, of uh, being uh, being gay. But then here it is. He's saying that he's not gay. He's defending being gay, but he's not gay. That's because these guys get down, man. They get down on both sides, man. He, they got to get down in this industry, you know, and for him to, you know, justify himself comfortably in his own mind for him doing a homosexual act he got to push out this narrative push out this ideology that ain't nothing wrong you guys are all mental man you have a mental illness man all of you even Charlemagne, man you know because why you done did you done did that shit too man you do do it to keep your job to keep your status man but then here it is you want to psych yourself out and make it seem like you're not gay so you got a wife they just got I'll tell you some crazy shit going on. And these guys that's making this money in this in this industry, they won't tell you how sickening it is, man. They won't they won't come out and tell you because they don't want to lose their pay. They don't want to lose their status and they don't want to die, man. Because why? They sold their soul, man. You can sell your soul on the lowest level, man. Okay? Basically, selling your soul in a nutshell is you being in the lead with Esau, man, and pushing his rhetoric, man pushing his bullshit you know whether you sold your soul in blood or whether you just sold out man you know you for all the all the nonsense the wickedness man you know you don't even care about the righteousness man anyway man that shit kind of got me hot this morning listening heard that shit so i just cut the video on and you know did this lesson i hope it was edifying you know most importantly to the elect you know so that's all i got I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. And let me say this for just to, you know, get up out of here. When the Lord start judging this place and the wicked start being judged, boy, oh boy. Wow. That's all I'm going to say, man. Because the way the Lord is going to do this place. And the wicked gonna be destroyed. It's gonna be on a level you never imagined, man. And guess what? It's all rightfully done. The water, the water, the water. Yahweh Ba Shimmy Yahweh Shah. Shalom.